Hundreds of homes could be coming to the outskirts of Milton. Good evening, I'm Mallory Metzner. Charlie Sakaitis has the night off. Welcome to our news at 11. We begin tonight with a massive development moving forward. New tonight, Milton's Planning and Zoning Commission unanimously approved the first site plan for the first section of the granary at Draper Farm, sending the proposal to town council. There is no relation to Draper Media, by the way. Coast TV's Charles Reinert shows us how people are reacting to what could make for massive growth. This farmland may not be too quiet for much longer. Milton's Planning and Zoning Commission gave the green light to the granary, a massive development that would add over a thousand homes along Sand Hill Road when it's complete. With all the new development, um, I'm concerned. The developer hopes to start building in the next few months. The land the neighborhood is proposed for is already annexed into the town of Milton, effectively doubling the size of the small community. According to the developer, Phase 1 plans to bring close to 200 houses. Delia Joseph says she's not too excited about the growth, but she thinks it's inevitable. Well, I know the development's going to happen, as it is everywhere around Sussex County, but I'm glad that, that the town of Milton has control of it rather than um, regular Sussex County. This development has been in the works for years now. The final say for the first phase of development is now up to the town council. While you could see over a thousand new homes right here where I'm standing off of Sand Hill Road, it's important to note that they wouldn't all be built at the same time. The developer says that this would be a 20 to 25 year build out. I'm Charles Reiner in Milton, Coast TV News.